Turn stripes, turn right. Must have seen, must have worked for me. Bills ain't pay, you think you're making it right. Flip the check, copper eighth. Now you up all night. Just ask them for forgiveness and they'll lead your way. Never give up and praise them every day. So, we go to the plants. The plants also shows us that there is a genetical marriage to the whole cosmic arrangement of things. Today's category, healing, healing, healing with natural herbs. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite herb, burdock root. Burdock root, I look at burdock root as the blood cleaner. Like, burdock root come in and clean the blood like, ooh, like no other. And it's natural. It's, it nat it's a natural herb. A very, very natural bark. <laughs> yes. Here's some information about burdock root. So... We go to the plants. The plants also shows us that there is a genetical marriage to the whole cosmic arrangement of things. The plant, take for instance, the burdock. The burdock plant is a plant that lives in the temperate region. Its structure allow it to live in the temperate region. Syphilis. Scrofola, anemia, anorexia nervosa, leprosy, cancer, tumor, arthritis, gout, rheumatism, boils, styes, seborrhea, cystitis, urinary deposit, pulmonary conditions, catarrh, chronic skin conditions. And these chronic skin conditions could include acne, eczema, psoriasis, Foronculosis, lupus, measles, pityriasis. Mucus is the number one key to a disease. Mucus is developed from acid. Acid is developed from the foods we eat, like chicken, pork, <laughs> beef, takeout foods, you know, bread, things like that. So, it's kind of good to be like a vegan, vegetarian, <laughs> you know, um, something like that. Or just eat your meat once a week. Um, pick one meat to eat once a week. And you'll notice how your body will start filling. You'll notice how light you'll start filling. How you can use burdock root. This is the burdock root when you grind it, to, you grind it all up, you grind it all up and you turn it into a powder. And this is the powder that you could actually use um, if you do capsules. This is what it looks like before it's grounded. This is what it looks like after is grounded. 